Okay, Scotty, uh, it is Burnett trained wrestling camps, and it's it's towards the end here, but end yeah, of July. Week, week number 559th, I don't even know. <laughs> How's it yeah. going so far this week, though? It's going good. It's going good. Yeah, first week off of our off of family vacation, so it's a little, uh, getting back in the swing of things is kind of tough, but no, but it's going really good. Massive group. Massive group. What do you think you want to see kids get out of camp? What do you? What's the biggest takeaway from a camp like this? Uh, so for me personally, with the group we got, you know, uh, I I just want to see the kids show some improvement. You know what I mean? And I know it's cliche to say, but they, for the experience level, a lot of these guys, they're they're very young, inexperienced, um, even just body awareness stuff. If they improve their wrestling remotely at all, that's big. So when you look at it, you know, uh, obviously Gray, he just won double national titles. It's crazy. The Burnett's had a good good July, June and July. Uh, Mick Mick made the finals at yep. the, the Fargo for Cadet Freestyle. Right. And then Gray double double all American double champ mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. schoolboy. And then uh, Nate was double all American, right? Nate, no, so no, uh, all American in freestyle. Uh, first time really doing Greco. Couldn't stop and, touching legs. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And, it's, and just getting, and just okay, all right, good job. And then, uh, just um, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, Gray, obviously winning Greco and freestyle was awesome. He trained really hard. So, you know, all of them did well. Mixed training was awesome. Nate showed improvement through the summer with freestyle. Obviously, Gray worked really, really hard. Um, you know, the the it showed that. We're on the right track, you know what I mean? Like we're figuring out right stuff to be doing. We're getting those guys to peak at the right time, so to so to speak. So, you know, that was cool. So we look at it. I, I watched a video of my friend Joe Williams made from Grow Wrestling, and it was all every single person he talked to, every elite coach, every person was like, trust the process. Yep. And you talk about that a lot. The process. Mm -hmm. Gray wins double national titles, and then he goes to Grand River and takes two losses. Mm -hmm. I, you, mm -hmm. I didn't even know. I couldn't even tell. It was the next day we were on vacation together. Yep. I didn't even know the guy lost. Yep. You know how, how not focusing on results and focusing on actually like getting better, being a better person, being on time, being a good person, all that stuff. How much of that is it really about the process for you guys? Yeah, so that's to be to answer you fairly, you know, for me, I the the his his the Grand River Rumble experience for Gray was very very needed um, because when you when you have when you experience failure, that really especially when you win a lot and you're successful, that's the true growing. It's the true time when you grow. So yeah, you talk about understanding the process and and just trusting the process, but as a coach father. We have a very dynamic relationship, so we got tested. You know, we were about to go on vacation. He's coming off of having a lot of success. It was an honor being part of the team he was asked to be part of. Um, so there was a lot of variables, but you know what? I was really happy after the fact, like you said. Um, you know, we, we talked about stuff after a little bit, and um, you know, I think not only did he learn, about you know going from freestyle to folk style understanding that there's really not that big of a difference you're gonna be okay but he learned a lot about getting ready for matches about handling adversity during matches I learned about dealing with athletes maybe when you're not I wasn't personally feeling the best as far as just I was kind of uh, just uh, struggling, you know, just energy, things like that. So it was a really cool experience, but the process always teaches whether you're ready for it or not. The process will show you the rights and the wrongs. And as coaches, if we, if we trust ourselves and we try to get our athletes to trust the process, then they'll trust you as a coach. You know what I mean? So it was, I mean, that whole process thing is just exactly what it's about. I asked you and your brother some pretty similar questions, process question, and then I asked him about his senior year at Brexville. Dave Schultz comes up to him and is like, hey man, you're really good at wrestling, we just can't recruit you. And then he ends up being a non-qualifier, uh, Prop 48 at the time is what it was called. You had a similar route where you went JUCO, right? Now we look at, you know, the oldest brunette, Mick, and I'm not trying to compare, 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 but they don't, he's got so many opportunities 
you guys didn't have the opportunities because you didn't have the grades in high school and test yep. scores, right? Yep. How important now is it for Gray and your daughter to have good test scores, be able to go to college wherever they want to, or if they want to go to college, not limiting opportunities. Well, how much do you guys stress that, and, and, and you know, where are you at with that? So, I, you know, I, I talk with Eric. I think I can only speak for myself and my wife and what we're doing, and that is, that's for us very, it's first. You know, we deal with that, their schooling. We, we try to be interactive with them as far as how they're doing with school. We ask a lot of questions. Obviously, we try to communicate with teachers and things like that. I'm trying to instill what I didn't figure out in my kids. So, and I think as a, as a parent, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, um, you know, you and I had talked just about, you know, learning from my life, my mistakes, my failures, um, looking at what maybe, you know, Eric and I and Jenny, our mom and dad maybe did really, really well versus maybe what they struggled with, you know, now that I'm a parent and kind of comparing the upbringings and stuff. And you, you just learn, you know what I mean? You just put emphasis on what is very important to you, what you want your kids to value. Um, you want them to understand, understand the process of education, what it takes to get good grades, the process of studying, figuring out how to do homework, turn stuff in on time, be responsible, and hopefully that gets applied to their life all together. And then you have success in dance or wrestling or whatever scholastic endeavor that your kids are doing, the skills that they're learning by being a good student cross over with the skills that they're applying to their scholastic sport. So apply sport to life, academics to life, you know, what you're doing, yep. working towards. Yep, they go life. together, crisscross them. Uh, obviously, you know, your yeah, your, 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 your spiritual, your faith, whatever you live, you want to live right and do the right thing. You want to learn from your mistakes and then try to not keep it making the same mistakes over and over again. Um, and then just, just you know, I've, a big thing is I try to tell Gray and Lena and, my, and Max that I love them and I'm proud of them. Not that our parents didn't do that, but do it more just so that they understand that regardless if they have failures and things like that, you know, as a parent, we still love them and back them, you know, what, no matter what. Wins and losses don't determine how much you love your kid. <laughs> right, absolutely. And I mean, that's kind of common sense, but if you think about it, if, you, if you're passionate about something, sometimes that stuff gets lost and gets blurred. You know what I mean? If you're... Yeah, maybe if you come down hard on your son or daughter, and maybe you, you look back on it, and you're like, oh, I made I made a mistake. I probably shouldn't have been so rough on them. And then from then, you just have to just talk to them, grab them, yeah. apologize to them. Do you got to check yourself out? Uh, all the time. All the time. I mean, I uh, yesterday, you know what I mean? I, uh, Gray's in a training situation. He's training, and it, he, got, he got this scenario, and it's a mistake that he's made before, and... And I had to check myself after, you know, I got caught up in the moment versus just allowing him to work through it. And then afterwards, break it down, talk to him and send him on his way. So it happens for me all the time, all the time. All right, session's about the end and you probably got some live going on that you want to watch. Do you got anything else for me? No, man, I'm just, um, I'm just glad to be doing what I do. I'm glad to, I'm glad to have you. Yeah, yeah thanks right. buddy. Enjoy. The rest of camp, we'll be catching up with you guys again, all right? Cool. Yep.